once upon a time in a quaint village nestled in a remote part of the country. There lived a wise and respected Zen monk named Koji. He was renowned throughout the village for his profound knowledge of Zen teachings and his ability to guide others on the path of enlightenment. Koji had spent many years traveling across the land imparting the wisdom of Buddha to those he met. And from each encounter, he learned valuable life lessons. One day, as Koji was meditating by a peaceful stream, a troubled young man named Alex approached him. Alex had heard rumors about the monk's profound insights and decided to seek his guidance to find solutions to the problems he faced in his life. He expressed his worries about not being able to find true peace and happiness among the people he associated with, feeling disconnected and undervalued. Koji welcomed Alex with a serene smile and invited him to sit down nearby. As they settled, Alex poured out his heart, sharing his struggles with finding genuine connections and true friends. He asked Koji for guidance on how to identify authentic people who would bring him inner peace and joy. Koji began to narrate a parable about five types of individuals. One should avoid and never befriend to find true contentment and harmony in life. There was once a young man named Ethan who resided in a bustling city. He was surrounded by a large circle of friends and enjoyed their company, engaging in various activities together. However, as time passed, Ethan realized that some of his friends were negatively impacting his life. The first type of person Ethan decided to distance himself from was the gossipers. These friends indulged in idle talk, spreading rumors and negativity. Ethan found, with then spending time with them, cluttered his mind with unnecessary and harmful thoughts. So, he made a conscious decision to avoid such company and focused on nurturing positive relationships. The second type of person Ethan chose to avoid was the critics. These friends always had something negative to say about others, constantly finding faults and criticizing their actions. Ethan soon realized that this constant negativity was affecting his own outlook on life. He understood the importance of surrounding himself with people who uplifted and inspired him, rather than dragging him down with constant criticism. The third type of person Ethan distanced himself from was a manipulator. This friend had a way of twisting situations to serve their own interests, often at the expense of others. Ethan noticed that spending time with this friend left him feeling drained and used. Recognizing the toxic nature of this friendship, he decided to let go and prioritize his well-being. The fourth type of person Ethan chose to let go of was the envious friend. This person always compared himself with others, feeling inadequate and resentful of their success. Ethan understood that true happiness comes from appreciating and celebrating the achievements of others. He knew that by surrounding himself with people who supported and encouraged him, he could foster a sense of contentment and gratitude. Finally, the fifth person Ethan realized he needed to distance himself from was the doubter. This friend always doubted Ethan's abilities and dreams. 
casting a shadow of uncertainty over his aspirations and ambitions. Ethan recognized the importance of having friends who believed in him and his potential. As Koji finished the story, Alex sat in deep contemplation. He grasped the wisdom in the monk's words and understood the significance of choosing friends wisely. He thanked Koji for his guidance and vowed to reflect on these five types of people. He should avoid befriending to find true happiness and fulfillment in his own life. From that day onwards, Alex embarked on a journey of self-discovery and personal growth. He carefully evaluated his friendships, seeking to nurture those that brought positivity and inspiration while gradually distancing himself from those that hindered his progress. Over time, Alex found himself surrounded by a circle of friends who shared his values and supported his aspirations. Together, they walked on the path of righteousness, uplifting one another along the way. The story of Koji and Alex serves as a reminder to all of us in our own lives. We must be mindful of the types of people we surround ourselves with by letting go of gossipers, critics, manipulators, envious individuals and doubters. We create space for positive influence and cultivate an environment that brings life-changing impacts to our lives. Inspired by Koji's teachings, Alex sought to embody the virtues of compassion, kindness, and mindfulness in his daily life. He dedicated himself to the practice of meditation, deepening his understanding of true happiness and peace. Through these practices, Alex discovered a profound sense of inner peace and clarity. One day, while traveling through a neighboring village, Alex came across a beggar sitting along the roadside. The beggar looked disheveled and downtrodden. Many people passed by without a second glance, but Alex's compassionate heart urged him to stop and offer assistance. Alex approached the beggar with a warm smile and asked, How are you? And how may I be of help to you? The beggar looked up with surprise, unaccustomed to such kindness. He hesitated for a moment and then said, I have nothing but the clothes on my back. I am very hungry and have no shelter. Alex nodded and replied, Fear not, I will do everything possible to provide you with what you really need. From his bag, Alex pulled out some good food he had packed for his journey. With a gentle demeanor, he handed the food to the grateful beggar, who accepted it with heartfelt thanks. Alex then offered the beggar his cloak to provide some warmth in the chilly weather. The beggar was deeply moved by Alex's compassion and generosity. He said, you have shown me kindness when no one else would. Why do you do so? Alex smiled and replied, in the teachings of Zen, I have learned that true happiness comes from selflessness and compassion. By helping others in need, I cultivate inner joy and create positive ripples in the world around me. Tears welled up in the beggar's eyes as he embraced Alex in gratitude. From that day onwards, the beggar vowed to change his ways and seek a life of righteousness. The story of Koji and Alex serves as a timeless reminder 
that by choosing our friends wisely, cultivating positive qualities within ourselves, and embracing compassion and kindness, we can create a profound impact on our lives and the lives of those around us. May we all strive to be the best version of ourselves, walking on the path of righteousness and spreading love and wisdom wherever we go.